Okay, so it is October, and you know what October means. It means Halloween time, which means horror movie galore. This is like the season where we love to watch horror movies. So I thought for October, we might as well do some Halloween specials where we look at horror movies throughout this whole entire month. And we're going to have some retrospective ones on movies that I absolutely love, horror movies. We're going to take a look back at them. We're going to have rewatches, which is horror movies that I really didn't like the first time I watched them and never watched them again. I'm going to rewatch them for the first time. And I'm going to tell you guys if I still feel the same or if I feel different. Are they going to change? So that's going to be fun. And then we're going to have first time viewing as well of horror movies that I have never seen. So if you have any, let me know in the comment section below. But today we are doing a retrospective review on 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now, this is a movie that I absolutely did love when I first saw it. So it's going to be interesting to see. I have seen it multiple times, but I really want to talk about this movie. I thought this would be the perfect movie to start with because it blends in sci-fi. It blends in horror. And it just, it's a really good film in my opinion. So I'm a, we're going to talk about it. We're just going to talk about it. So let me know your thoughts. Smash it down there. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's talk about 10 Cloverfield Lane right now. So 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now this movie, I remember seeing this movie for the very first time. And... I was amazed at this movie. I really was. And then it became one of those movies that I absolutely loved. And now upon rewatching and rewatching, it just seems to get better. And I've just recently rewatched it again for October for the Halloween season. And man, this movie is so good. And there are so many multiple reasons why I believe this movie is just absolutely top tier horror. And what makes this one top tier for me? Well... It feels like it's two movies in one, to begin with. It feels like it's a sci-fi movie and a horror movie. And that's what I think makes this movie so good, is the balance and the blend of putting those two properties together to create a horror sci-fi masterpiece is what 10 Cloverfield Lane is. And it's very hard to do that. Like, obviously we know Alien, you know, the first Alien is a sci-fi horror. We love that film, That love that classic film. But this is a different, this isn't like, you feel like this is sci-fi at the start. You, you, There's hints. There's hints that it could potentially be sci-fi stuff to do with aliens and that, but then maybe not. So what makes this so good is the start. The whole start of this movie feels like you are in a one location horror movie of someone who's just been kidnapped. That's what this feels like. So you're watching it, and obviously you have Harold, played by John Goodman, who is absolutely superb. We're going to get to his performance. And then you have... Emmett in there as well, and then you have Michelle in there. And so what happens is he's actually taken her off the road, smashed Michelle off the road, and then brought her into this bunker. Now, he starts to, you know, it sounds wacky at the start because he starts to tell her about, yeah, like, you know, it's the end of the world out there. Like, there's been a big explosion. The air's contaminated. You're safe down here. And you're already getting that vibe of like, okay, this feels very creepy. This feels like this guy's just kidnapped her and is starting to make stories to make her stay there. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, I know where this is going. This is going to be your typical, you know, kidnapping story. You're there, then people are going to save her. You know, you know that stuff. So you're so invested already into this. And you just see Harold and how, you know, his, his demeanor, his personality, who is this character... And that's what the whole first two acts are. It's about building the tension between the three of them. Building this, you know, who is Harold? What is his purpose? Is what he's saying true? Do you want to believe that? And then obviously Emmett is there and he he helped Harold build this. So he knows who Harold is. He knows him, knows a bit about him and stuff like that. So he starts to back up things that Harold is saying as well. So you're starting to think already, okay. So everything he's saying makes sense. Like, obviously, there's a nuclear war going on or something like that. that like, that's happening. And, you know, the, the air's contaminated. And then we get this moment where we see this lady out there, and she's got, like, all, like, boils and stuff over her face. Like, she has been infected by something, and that she is getting eaten from inside. Her skin's rotten. And that starts to, you know, reaffirm what Harold is saying. So you're instantly hooked in this kidnapping story. You're like, yes. Okay, so there's something going on outside, so maybe it's not a kidnapping story. But then, 
as things progress and the story starts to really go in, you start to get this nice vibe of like, okay, maybe it's not a kidnapping because they're all happy. They're all playing and stuff like that. And then the, the air vents and stuff like that, things happen with that. So now that Michelle has to go in there. And this is where things start to take a turn. This is where the twists start to happen. And things that you thought were seem like they weren't. And it's it's absolutely crazy because then when that happens, she actually goes into another part of the bunker where she sees help has been scratched on the inside and there's blood. And then she finds an actual earring down there as well with blood on it. Now, why this is so important is because previously... When Harold was talking about his daughter to her and saying all oh, this stuff, he showed her a photo. And then when she comes back, she says to Emmett, like, look, I found this, man. This was it said help in here. And then he, she shows him the photo and he goes, no, that's, that's not his daughter. That's Brittany. She went to school with my sister. And this is where things start to happen. You're like, okay. And this happened years before this, this event happened. So you're like, wow. So he is someone that kidnaps people. So he kidnapped this girl and then like seemed to make her play the role of his daughter who left. So you have these things like, okay, so this is going to, this is a kidnapping. There's nothing to do with the outside. Outside is completely fine. It's a kidnapping. So you're on this train already. And then the gruesome stuff starts to happen with the acid. The acid is insane in here where he just outright killed Emmett and then puts him in the acid and you see that it's gross but it's the tension that they build up in this scene to that big twist that you're like oh my god wow I did not see that coming at all like this is actually like you made me feel this way now all of a sudden it's this but it's not even the biggest twist of this movie so she's now built this suit to go outside because she still thinks it's contaminated we're now now starting to think it's not contaminated this guy's just a kidnapper so she now has to fight her way out of there. She eventually does. And this is where the real big twist happens. The twist that you just don't expect. So when she gets out, obviously the place is on fire and everything like that. She gets out. You're thinking, it's done. She has survived. You know what? That was a decent movie. That's a good movie. You know, she survived the kidnapping and that. You know, she sees that the air is not contaminated because she sees the birds flying around. And she takes her off. She doesn't die or anything like that. And you're like... Sweet. What a good movie. But then, out of nowhere, as she gets on top of the car, she looks and she sees this thing floating in the sky. Instantly, it doesn't look like a plane. It doesn't look like anything humans have ever made. And then, all of a sudden, it drops this thing off. After the explosion happens, it drops this creature thing off that starts running through the cornfield. And this is where we find out that it's actually, what he was saying wasn't technically wrong. Like, the air's not contaminated, but there is a, an event going on outside, like an attack that he says in there that is happening. And this is where we find out that the aliens are actually invading at the same time. So we had this tension-riddled scene of her trying to survive this alien creature looking for her. And then when she gets picked up and she actually blows up the ship with throwing the... Uh, you know, the, the fire cocktail straight through the mouth and blows it up from the inside. Like, this is where you start to see, like, this beautiful twist come together. Like, okay, so the guy was a kidnapper. We know that. And he did technically kidnap her. But what he said as well about the attack was true. So it's kind of like, was he, he... He obviously had ill intentions with kidnapping... But also at the same time, he was kind of like saving her as well from the outside world of this invasion. So to me, that twist was absolutely phenomenal. But it is the performances in this movie that are incredible. John Goodman. He just plays Harold perfectly. He plays this unstable guy that you don't know what he's going to do next. He plays it so well. And every time he's on screen, he's menacing. You feel it through the TV. You feel it through the screen of the actual sheer velocity that this character holds, the weight that he holds over her. You feel that intensity and you feel that tension. You feel like, bro, this guy, I don't know what he's going to do right now. Like, And then there's moments where you feel like, okay, this guy's just a compassion dude, compassionate dude who's trying to save these people. And then the next minute you're like, okay, this guy's a bit psycho. 
So it's a beautiful dynamic. And then obviously you have Michelle in there as well, played by Mary Elizabeth Weinstein. She is fantastic in this movie. She plays this character who's timid at the start, who's very much on edge, like, oh my God, okay, I, I'm, I'm kidnapped. Like she plays that role so well. And then as things start to progress, she starts to find out, we see the switch in this character, this character arc of her coming out of her shell to take responsibility for her own life and be like, nah, I'm going to take my chances out there then. So I love that as well. And I love the dynamic that she builds and the relationship she builds with Emmett as well, who is absolutely superb as well. I love Emmett. And I mean, his his ending is very, very sad. But the, the relationship between them is fantastic. The way that they were able to, you know, relate to each other and start to like, you know, build that bond of friendship. And then obviously making Harold feel out of sync with them too as well, because obviously he's a lot older. It's just, it's a great dynamic that had the tension built and it's just absolutely fantastic. The cinematography is great for a, this is a majority of one location shot film. It's located in the bunker and most of the movie takes place in there except for the final scenes with the whole outside world alien stuff that happens. But the cinematography is fantastic inside and I thought the shots and editing with the musical score just built that tension up perfectly for me. And it's always on the edge of your seat viewing when you're watching this because you don't know what's going to happen. Because Harold's such a good character and they make him so so intense and feel unhinged at any moment, you instantly don't know what's going to happen. So you're 100% focused on what is this guy going to do? What's next? And that, I think, is fantastic. The storyline as well with the twists and turns was absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love this film so much. I love that twist. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I really, really do. I think this is top-tier horror. But let me know down in the comment section below, what did you guys all think of 10 Cloverfield Lane? Did you guys love it as much as me? Smash it down there. Smash that like button for me. And click subscribe as well. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.